This is the story of a Town Hall 7 with level 1 troops who hit the Legend League in Clash of Clans. The attack strategies used defensively, how was this possible? Let's explain it all in this video. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. You might remember when a player called The World hit Legends League as a Town Hall 6. Well, he reached out to me again because he hit a new record. This is his account Princess in Legends League, but let's take a closer look. You can see that he only has Barbarians and Archers and they are level 1. We take a look in the clan, he actually has one of his other accounts here, which is equally as strange. He doesn't have barbarians or archers. And when we take a look at his base, he actually doesn't even have a cannon, just the hog riders and minions. Nevertheless, back to the profile we are focusing on, level four lightning spells, level two rage spells, and a town hall seven. If we visit the base, this is not going to defend very well when it comes to Legends League. He has his Barch ready to go, but all level 1 defenses. But how exactly does he do it? I am super interested. The troops do not have an icon which would indicate an upgrade. So yes, level 1 troops, Legends League, other players have done this before, but nobody has been in Town Hall 7. They've always been higher. So being able to take more Clan Castle troops or even Siege Machines. So let's go ahead and request to the clan so that he can share the attack strategies, defenses, all of the information you would need to know if you want to try this yourself. Just like that, we are in. The world has gone over pretty much everything you could imagine about this. Thank you for sharing this with me and my subscribers. By the way, we are charging towards 1 million. Thank you so much for the support. If you're not subscribed and you do enjoy my content, be sure to do so. I appreciate it. But let's explain everything you need to know. Firstly, let's go over the attack strategy then. Yes, it is the Barch. It's the only option, but you need to adapt it and use it differently depending on the trophy range. So the strategy below Masters is this. You will be attacking Town Hall 7s for the most part. And unless he came up against a weird base design, it was all about the two stars. You've got level one troops. It's very difficult, but you need to create a funnel on the left and right of the Town Hall. And as you do this, lure the clan castle troops pull them over the top of some defenses ideally a mortar and lightning them to take this out this also helps to set up your funnel so notice the left and the right of the base are destroyed this leaves a pathway of non-defensive buildings into the town hall and that's pretty important take out defenses as part of that funnel you don't have wall breakers. You're relying on level one barbarians to get through a wall. So any defenses will hinder that progress. And you need to make sure that you send enough barbarians and archers to get the town hall. If the town hall is not centralized, it is the same technique as this. You just need to save more troops for the outside in order to get the 50% because you need to get the two star. And the strategy we show as you progress up and attack high higher town hall levels, this becomes even more important. So I'll cover that in a little bit more depth as we go through the video. But just make sure you do send enough troops to get that town hall and you save enough to the outside to get the 50%. It doesn't matter after that, you just need the two stars. This will help you up to Masters League. Then you need to change the strategy in order to push up to Legends. The next trophy region, which required an alteration to the Barch strategy, was between Masters and Champion. The world said this was the worst region. There were no progress bases or art style bases, which I'll show you in a moment. So you needed to use the lightning spells around the town hall. Just pick off 
any defenses to make sure you can get that town hall easier. He also said that if you do go for a one star, it's fine. But sometimes even town hall seven bases, you might have to skip if you can't get the lightning value. You need to assure you can at least get the one star, but obviously you're going for the two. The other part is your clan castle. You will be deploying this to the other side of the map. And the main reason for that is you are trying to get value in terms of defenses. You will always take clan castle balloons and look at the value he got. The mortar cannon and archer tower frees up all of these non-defensive buildings for archers to pick off and increase the percentage. This gives you a stronger push in towards the town hall in order to assure the two stars. Any mortars to the outside of the base, you also want to try and pick off with barbarians so that you can then continue to clear the buildings on that area. And another thing to take note of is making sure, yes, you are sending archers to any building you can snipe. That just means, for example, here the archer is completely free from defenses, but you also have to know which buildings have the lowest hit points because that is where you will be trying to ramp up the percentage once you've gained the town hall. I do want to acknowledge though that the replays in this video are from Titan League. They are the most recent and I am talking about bases like this being most prevalent in the Masters 2 Champion region but you still find them at a variety of trophy ranges. You have to be ready to adapt the strategy. You have the same troops. It's all about the deployment, mainly of the clan castle troops and the lightning spells, because that's where you get the big value. The barch in itself is level one, so it goes down very quickly to the defenses. It's all about just making sure you study the different ways I show the barch is used, and then selecting the right method for the base. From Champion to Titan 1, it is all about fan art bases, such as this, but there's a big mistake you can make, so listen carefully. Snipe the Town Hall first. The world said 80% of bases he was attacking was Town Hall 9 and 10 like this. So snipe the Town Hall, you don't want to lose a bunch of trophies. Then look to the non-defensive buildings. You will probably have an area where you can snipe this, maybe in the center of the map, but do not deploy them near the clan castle. Once you lure the clan castle, you have to deal with it. So try and get the percentage up first. You could have some tricky troops at Town Hall 9 and 10, such as an E-Drag, but do not panic. Make sure you are deploying troops to the opposite side of this as well. The clan castle troops would need to go right across the map. So you're basically switching from left to right, depending on where the clan castle troops run. Now you might get to the stage where you need to take down some defenses. Often they are grouped together like this. Most of the time you can guarantee the two star, which is obviously great. But if you get to the defenses, look at what you can use the lightning spells for. In this scenario, we can take out some mortars and archer towers. Five buildings with the lightning spell. That could be the difference between the one and two star and really help your progress to legend. Before we do progress on up to Legends League though, you are taking defenses this entire time. So what about the defense? What can you do? Believe it or not, getting three starred is not the worst scenario. I know that seems strange, but I will explain. Now you can take clan castle troops, but it's not really going to do much. The world has level one defenses. And by the way, the reason he did that is so that his experience level was kept low. Quite important for him in terms of this record, level one defenses, random layout, you're not going to defend anyway. But why exactly is the three star not the worst scenario? Because at certain stages you are kicked off the game, if you've been too active and you need to take a defense. If you get three starred, you get a shield and quite a lengthy shield at that. Whereas if you are not, and sometimes if you are attacked by Town Hall 9 and 10s who only use heroes or clan castle troops, you might not get a shield altogether. Because if you did not know, your opponent needs to use 30% of their army for you to actually get a shield. So you could take a defense, lose a bunch of trophies, not get a shield, and maybe take another defense right after. And when you are losing 51 trophies, 
That is very detrimental. But I guess that's part of the grind and highlights how impressive this achievement is. What about the finer details, though? How long did it take the world to do this? In between Titan 1 and Legend, you find 50-50 Town Hall 7 and Town Hall 9 and 10 fan art bases, so just pick the right strategy. But he started this three and a half months ago. He said it only took one week to get up to Masters League, then it took a grind to get through to Champions League. That's that region where we showed you Town Hall 8 and 9 bases going for the two stars. Reason for that is he actually found a lot of bases. Now that sounds like a good thing, right? You're finding a lot of bases, but he needed to be active actually pressing next every time he found a base. Whereas once you got up towards Titan League, it actually was a lot longer in the searches. He could do things in the background. Essentially, he could turn the game sound on, pop his phone in his pocket, get on with his day. The game would alert him once he found a base. He said this was around about every 10 minutes, and then he could assess whether it was appropriate to attack, click next, get on with his day again. And once he got to Titan 1, it took two weeks to get to Legends. But this was actually playing 12 to 16 hours per day. Such a huge commitment. That's why I always take my hat off to the players I feature in this world record series. But it's the final stretch. When you're losing that amount of trophies on defense, you need to assure you put the time in to hit that legendary status and that is exactly what the world did when we featured him as a town hall six in legends league as well if you do want to see how the world got to legends as a town hall six it is linked on your screen alongside the subscribe button thanks again to the world for sharing his story allowing me to showcase his attacks such an achievement gg my friend and i hope you guys enjoyed watching i will see you in the next video